I'd like to invite Shaw Rahman and three special guests from the Linux Foundation, Open Infra, and the Open Air Interface Software Alliance to join us and share their thoughts on uh, uh, this announcement. Good morning, like you all said, in San Francisco. And it's, uh, it's my great pleasure to, uh, to welcome you all. And uh, oh boy, that was a, that was a, that was, I think that was a great uh, way for be able to start the day and, and tell us what we're doing at Connectivity. And um, I welcome, uh, first of all, thank you, Phil. And I welcome Jonathan uh, Bryce, who's executive director at the Open Infra Foundation, Irfan Gari, director of operations at the Open Air Interface Software Alliance, Arpit Joshipura, GF Networking and Edge at the Linux Foundation. So to join me on this virtual stage. Thank you, Shah. I'm here. Thank you, Shah. Yeah. yeah, very nice to meet you all. And I'm very, I'm quite sure that our audience is uh, waiting to, uh, to hear from each of you. And uh, it was great to hear how Yale articulated our mission to, to connect people and the importance of that. And, um, and, and the announcement, that's, that's so exciting for us. And I couldn't be more excited about Magma joining Linux Foundation as an independent project and how it opens up the next chapter in Magma's journey. We have seen significant traction over the past two years since it was open source at the Mobile World Congress in 2019. And clearly it is no longer seen as a Facebook project. And this announcement sets us to be transition Magma into the perfect community project that we always wanted to see it as. So um, I, I wanna take this opportunity to pretty much ask each of you if you could briefly share what you're excited about this announcement and where you see this collaborative effort around Magma going forward. Um, let's start with Jonathan. Sure, yeah, thanks, Shah. Um, I, I think first of all, I just wanna start out by uh, commending um, Facebook on, uh, on, on making this move to, uh, to really you know, establish a, a, a true independent community around Magma. Um, as well as OAI, uh, you know, at the Open Infrastructure Foundation, we've had the opportunity to work with, uh, with you, Shaw and Irfan over the last year or so, as we've been um, kind of establishing uh, some community governance principles and talking about licensing and all of these, these things that, that come into play. And, uh, and it's been awesome to see the, uh, the real level of commitment from, um, from you know, all of the, the, the people who've been contributing to setting up a, a true community around this project. And I think that is so important if we really wanna achieve um, those kind of lofty aspirations that Yale was just talking about to really drive uh, networking um, into more, more environments and more community. So, uh, you know, that's, that's a, it's a big step for a company to, to, uh, to take when they have created a technology to sort of set it free and give it to the world. And, uh, and I think it's awesome that, uh, that that's happening. Um, you know, I, I want to echo a little bit of what Yell talked about in terms of the impact that this can have. If we think about progress in technology, one of the sort of most common um, things that people often refer to to sort of capture the, uh, the, the sort of um, that, that sense of progress in technology is Moore's Law, right? You know, the, the just rapid advance in computing power and the drop in cost and how that has led to incredible innovation in terms of computing everywhere from, uh, from you know, giant machines to desktops, to laptops, to phones, to IoT. And, uh, and that's you know, something that I think people in general are aware of. But I think that what's happened in the background that is just as impressive an advancement in, uh, in, in the technology world is actually the capacity of networks globally. And really we've seen that in the last year with the pandemic as everything has moved online, our events have moved online, our entertainment, we get that online, all of our meetings and our work, we're all working every day remotely. And, uh, and you know, it's incredible to think about behind the scenes how much network capacity has had to increase over the last decade to support all of those use cases. But I think that one of the things that, that is true with that is that those advancements in, uh, in networking capacity, networking availability, they have not been evenly distributed. One of the missions that, that we have at the Open Infrastructure Foundation is to more evenly distribute 
infrastructure technology to everyone in the world to make sure that everyone can benefit from technology advancements. And I think that that's what this opportunity right now represents for us with Magma. We can more evenly distribute those incredible advancements in the networking space to more people, to more use cases. And, uh, and you know, those, those advancements that I'm talking about, we all have benefited from them if we're living in, uh, in, in sort of, you know, major markets, major cities where we have access to, uh, to these top tier providers. But as we just saw, not everyone has been able to benefit from that. You know, Magma brings an opportunity for all of us to deliver uh, these core network functions in a way that's easier, that's cheaper, that's um, smaller scale so that uh, you can use it in more, in more areas. And that is going to directly um, meet those goals of, of more evenly distributing that, allowing for more availability. And also I think one of the things that's really exciting to me, more innovation. You know, when you make things smaller, cheaper and easier, that's when you just unleash massive innovation around a technology. So, you know, as I look at this, I think it's a huge step for Magma. I think it's a huge step for the networking space. And I think that we can't even imagine the downstream impacts that this is going to have as we, as we uh, kind of start to push this forward and build a community. So, you know, really excited to continue working on this and, uh, and continue our role in, in, in helping to, uh, to kind of build a community, spread the message, bring in more developers and users. And for everyone who's here today, you know, I say, um, join us. This is the time to get involved if you're not already. And let's do this. Awesome. That's that's so great to hear, Jonathan. And, and thank you for appreciating what it brings to the table. And it's not many times you see uh, different industry groups coming together to support a program. So I, I think we're in a pretty unique position to um, sort of truly uh, disrupt that segment of the industry, and we're gonna we're gonna do it together. Uh, next, over to Irfan. Um, Open Air Interface Alliance and Software Alliance and Magma Projects. Magma Project, uh, we go back quite some ways, like years that we've been working together. So this is just um, a great partnership, and we just can be, uh, I would say, more excited about the future in, in this partnership. And I wanna. I'd like to have Ivan share his thoughts on the same question, right? Thank you, Shah. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Yes, um, thank you, Shah, and thank you, Jonathan. Um, you know, we, uh, yes, we go a long way back. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, we are super excited over here to become uh, part of, in fact, uh, the founding member, one of the founding members of uh, the Magma, uh, project. Um, it is, uh, uh, you know, um, those of you who are aware of uh, how things have evolved over time, um, Open Air Interface Software Alliance has been working with, uh, with, uh, with Facebook uh, connectivity for a long time, uh, even before this project was actually uh, called uh, Magma. And um, over time, um, you know, our collaborations have uh, intensified and we have done um, great work together here. Uh, with uh, a growing community. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, what I would really like to do over here is to uh, thank our, uh, our developers. So uh, names that many of you already know, people like uh, Lionel and Rafael and Mohit from the Open Air Interface Software Alliance. And on the other side over there in, in Magma, we have uh, uh, Shurti, we have Lash and some great leaders. Uh, uh, like uh, like Amar, great technical leaders. So uh, you know, I think what we're doing over here is is really incredible work uh, jointly. And um, for for our engineers, you know, one thing that I always like to say to my team is that um, this is just uh, incredible. When you look at the, uh, the 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 tagline of of the Magma project, and you hear uh, or, or you read that uh, uh, the intention is or the ambition is to connect the next 1 billion people. Uh, it is just an incredible uh, uh, project. Um, for engineers who always want to see their, um, pro their, their work to get into products and solutions that are going to change people's lives, I think this is uh, probably uh, you know, one of the best ambitions that one could work as an engineer for. So, uh, so thanks again, uh, you know, all our uh, technical contributors. Uh, what I would like to say uh, here is that, uh, 
you know, we um, believe that uh, um, the, 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 the Magma project will go a long way towards, uh, of course, uh, uh, you know, changing the market, um, which is innovation, but also, um, you know, towards the changing, changing lives of uh, all the, uh, I mean, all those uh, who uh, we are trying to address over here. I would like to uh, address uh, my um, congratulations uh, to uh, you guys uh, who have managed to pull this off. Uh, this has not been easy uh, to put it out in a, a neutral place. Uh, it has been a lot of hard work and I know that people have uh, probably uh, spent sleepless nights uh, trying to uh, you know, get this to, to work. So well done and uh, to our engineers and all the contributors, I think that the path that we are taking with magma is that of uh, greatness and uh, it is a glorious purpose so thanks a lot for that and and welcome on board everybody yeah over to you Shah. thank you thank you irfan thank you once again we just like to see the continued partnership between us and uh, we're always grateful for your team support and we look forward to seeing it in 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 more rigor more uh taking magma to the to the next chapter here. All right, over to Arpit. All right, so over to you, sir. And okay. share with us what's exciting to you and what do you think the collaboration means for Linux Foundation? As, All right, uh, thank you, Shah. Can you hear me? Yeah, go on. Yeah, please. All right. All right, so thanks again, Shah and Jonathan and Irfan. Um, you know, we're very excited to be part of this global collaborative effort across you know, as Irfan says, multiple foundations, multiple ecosystem players, you know, and, and the key here, you know, which I completely agree with Jonathan, which is, you know, our, our joint vision is fully aligned, right? We help end users and the community accelerate innovation using open source software. So when, when vision is aligned, you know, we can all come together to help developers push this technology where needed. So uh, the key here is we've, we've seen at the Linux Foundation, obviously, and, and all the foundations, right? We have seen open solutions across the entire networking stack. So, you know, from data plane to control plane, you know, to VIMS orchestration. And then if you expand it from just core, core to edge, edge to access. And I think Magma provides that next evolution of the use cases across applications in my mind, you know, obviously packet core being the first one, uh, but it, it will not stop at these VNFs and cloud native network functions, you know, which we have been calling CNFs. Um, so, you know, it's, it's the entire end-to-end -end, uh, solution uh, based on open source projects that are, that are critical for getting to this global connectivity. So uh, personally, and as on behalf of Linux Foundation, you know, we are very humbled to host this project on behalf of the community. Um, personally, I've been very impressed with the project. I've been following it for quite some time. And obviously the technical leadership provided by uh, Facebook and all the developers to support this project. Uh, from a moving forward perspective, we're expecting significant momentum and growth here, right? Through this neutral collaboration and governance, you know, a whole new set of end users, a whole new community of end, uh, operators, service providers, vendors, system integrators, right? Uh, you know, they are used to collaborating across the stack, across the foundations, across projects, and more importantly, across uh, the use cases in this critical 5G era. And remember, I mean, Connecting people globally is not a one project challenge. It's an end-to-end -end challenge, right? Core, edge, access, data plane, control plane, orchestration, automation, and network functions, right? If you don't count the devices. So we're really excited and thank you for the opportunity. Over to you, Shah. Thank you. Thank you everyone for sharing your insightful and inspiring practice. Uh, it's an honor to see the, the visionaries like yourself of the open source world, welcoming a new entrant that has tremendous potential to impact the next generation of open source evolution. We see that evolution centered around the network and connectivity, and we often call it the open source 3.0. With that, uh, let me thank you once again and move over to the presentation to see what that evolution might, may look like. 